welcome back to Electric Forest. The last time you were here was in 2019 before the pandemic. How are your set today different from the last one? Wow, well I think it's pretty much completely brand new. You okay. know, we, I spent the last week and a half maybe reworking everything. You know, I put out a new project like a month ago, yeah. a month and a half ago, and we just got a lot of new stuff to play. And I wanted to find a way to merge the old with the new yeah. and make it fresh, and I'm just excited to play it. Awesome, we're so excited. Um, so you're often headlining shows and festivals around the world now. How does it feel to achieve to have achieved such a great level of success at a young age? I mean, it's crazy. I feel lucky to have started so early. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that it helps out to just have gotten a little bit of a head start. Yeah. <laughs> but it's crazy. I still feel super young. I still feel like I have so much to oh, for sure. make and create. And yeah. It still almost feels like the beginning. Absolutely. You know, in a crazy way. But, yeah. but it's great, you know, that I have more time. Yeah. You know, to make There's more. always time. Yeah. For sure. um, so you recently threw a surprise set at an abandoned zoo in LA. How does the energy differ between like an impromptu show and a planned event? Well, that was a rare case of an impromptu show. <laughs> really? I don't always do crazy pop-ups like yeah. that. But in that rare case, we did it with my friends, Brownies and Lemonade. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The best parties. Right, in like, LA, yeah. Yeah, and so they helped out with that one. And, you know, I think a lot of people ended up showing up at the zoo and the police got called and they were circling around <laughs> okay. the helicopters. It got kind of wild, you know, for a little bit. It got wild, but it was really fun. You know, but that experience was like kind of a little more random. But you're not really sure. sure. It's overall just kind of the vibe. Yeah. Um, but you know, at my show, you can expect, you know, you're almost kind of there to see me maybe or, yeah. or someone else maybe if there's a good opener. Yeah. Know. So I think the crowd might be there for my music when in this case I'm just there. It was there just to like for the party. Yeah. yeah. I feel that. <laughs> and this experience. Yeah. You know. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, so you'll be hitting the road on the Midnight Fantasy Tour with a variety of supporting acts. What do you look for when curating your tour lineup? Well, I mean, first, I mean, it's it's almost like, it's hard to explain because I feel like there's so much good music out there. It's so hard, And yeah. there's so many good artists, and that's good, you yeah, know, because, yeah. you know, we're always looking around and seeing, like, who wants to go on tour, who's, like, yeah. going on tour yet, and we're trying to put together ours, and we're hitting yeah. up, like, people I love, and, yeah. and you know, it's like, I'm super stoked with everyone on it, you know, we got, like, my homie Surf Mesa, and yes. like, Wave Dash, yes. and, like, so many other people yeah. are just like, wow, like, this is, it's quite an experience. I'm, For like, sure. really excited that they were to come on to it. Yeah, awesome. So the tour follows the re release of your album, Midnight. What was your vision with the project? I mean, this was a fun project, you know? Like, I put out another album maybe almost, like, two years ago now yeah. when the pandemic basically mm -hmm. hit called Fantasy, which yeah. is, like, what I had been working on for a while. And, you know, through that whole time kind of being locked up, just, like, you know, having a lot of time to just work on music mm -hmm. and, like, start this new sound, it felt like almost like when I first started making music and like sound was like yeah. bubbling again. Know, or, like yeah. a lot of artists like Midwest and Delay, yeah. Eric Doa, all these people I ended up becoming really good friends with. Yeah, and like yeah. making music with them and all of them as well. You so, know, and I think that was kind of the inspiration for that album. Yeah. You know, and I was just like a combination of like this new hip hop sound mixed with what I already have. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I love the SoundCloud loyalty because yeah. that's my platform. So Same. I love it. Um, okay, so why did you choose to release Complicated as the lead single, and how do you feel it encapsulates the rest of the album? Complicated is a great one, all the time. Yeah. And I really think the sound, just the sound of that song to me, like, with the synths, yeah, yeah. the drums, and just the whole vibe, like, just spoke to me, like, yeah. the most. Yeah. You know, and it just, it, it felt like the right song. To put out, know? yeah, because absolutely. And I also knew we had a couple other songs that were a little different on the project, so I wanted to give people a taste in the right way and okay. kind of ease them into it. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Awesome. So, um, our last question. With an oversaturation of music festivals in the U.S., what do you think sets Electric Forest apart from all the rest? Wow. I mean, that's, it's very easy and hard to answer at the same time. More so easy because it's just such an experience. There's nothing like it. There's nothing else like it anywhere. Yeah. You come into the forest, you meet the best people. Yeah. Everyone has the greatest energy. And like such awesome artists and music, and the vibe has just carried it so well. You know, that like, we can just hang out like back here in this cabin, exactly. and, like then go wander out <laughs> into the forest. To the and there's like neon lights everywhere. Yeah. It's like wow. It's our favorite. And there's so. so much going on, you can't even sum it up. Exactly. It's like you just gotta experience it. Exactly. Okay. Well, thank you so much for meeting with thank us you. today. We're super excited to see you play. Um, this is Kylie with Extra Music, and I'm here with Weekend at Electric Forest 2020.